Welcome to Revive. It's about that time. Welcome to Revive. It's about that time. Got some guests in the building. Y'all, go ahead and introduce Ooh. yourself. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. I go by the name of Wolf Leon. Come Get your back to the Yes, yes. you got to say it with your speaking <laughs> diction. Yes, yes, yes. Wolf <laughs> Leon, man. I got to ask you, why Wolf Leon? What is that all about? Well, my name is Sierra, and it came from Sierra Leone, which is a country. Uh, my name is Sierra, and it came from Sierra Leone, Africa. Awesome. Um, but at the time, somebody yeah, had the really. name. So I was like, you know what? I like the name Wolf, because wolves, you know, they run in the pack, and I, right. I come with my team, and you don't see them until it's time to attack. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you see them here, you know, I'm coming. It's like, hey, with that creative yeah. style, how you, you know, you appear. Like, yeah. your appearance is completely different. You yeah. know, you got the, the great locks, you got a lot of different things going on, you got the crazy colors. Like, so when it comes to that image, how are you revamping that with your style? Um, well, I always was a tomboy, so it, it really wasn't hard. Okay. They tried to do like, oh, you need to be a little bit more. It wasn't really forced on me, to be honest, because I didn't come out like talking about sex. I still don't even really talk about sex like that. I do, but it's subliminal. Like, you gotta oh, listen sure. to me a lot of times and be like, oh, you know, but I never, I can't, that didn't come off that way. Okay. When I'm in the studio, I'm in baggy clothes, so nobody really expects that of me, but because okay. when I go in there and I'm like, they be like, oh, this girl really hot. Like, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. It just, for me, it just, it just worked that way. So do you think women in this industry can, you know, make it mainstream without selling sex? Yeah, because you think about it, who's at the top. Lil' Kim, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. Mm -hmm. Remy Ma didn't really do too much, but she trying a little bit too hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God she a mother now. She yeah. might calm that down. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Before she got locked up, she was. So. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. she, she was trying. Yeah. It was like a little, it was, I ain't gonna go on. I love you, Remy. But yeah, so with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Do you think that, you know, with your style, your appearance, that that can actually help someone make it to the top? Because if you think about the women who are on top, who made it, that's what they did. That's true, because in this industry, it's all entertainment. So, I mean... I was her, just, Cardi's image is her butt. Yeah, Nikki's but she, image is her butt. You gotta remember how she came on too. I'm just a stripper. <laughs> she went from stripping to loving hip hop to being the number one hip hop artist in the world. Yeah, but right she now. didn't mind taking her clothes off. But do you have other artists that, I mean, in the white mainstream that mm -hmm. don't have to take their clothes off, like Billie Eilish and I see they wear big baggy clothes. Ariana Grande. Ariana, right. Yeah, but she's starting to slowly take her off. Okay. I mean, take it off. But, um, like, to Tierra, it just, honestly, it's like a strip club over here today. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> she's slowly seems, taking them off. Yeah, it seems like the higher you get, the more clothes they make you take off. But, I don't know. I think it depends on what else you can bring. Like, what other entertainment factors you can bring. Because, because I feel like, right, if... If you don't necessarily go in that category, because you know in, in the music industry they try to box you so much. That's why I love mm -hmm. independent artists because mm -hmm. they break away from those yeah. categories. But you know, if, if you don't go into that mainstream hip, hip hop um, ideal woman as a in, like an industry artist, yeah. then you'll be put in this weirdo box. Like what well, auntie, my auntie, Erica Badu. There's you know a what whole, I'm saying? There's a whole fan base of weirdos. I love it though. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm with I'm the Erica Badu. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm with I, the weirdos. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. They, they won't accept you as much. You know, Erykah Badu is mainstream in her own lane. Yeah. But she can't cross over, you no. know what I mean, to some hip-hop, I mean, so to some pop culture like a Beyonce, a Nicki Minaj, and a Cardi B can because yeah. she won't even be accepted. I'm really rapping for myself and not for everybody else. Okay. So I just had to change how I was rapping. So I kind of changed up the melodies. I slowed it down a little bit. I didn't change the message. I get you. Thank you for that. Yeah, I didn't change the message, but yeah. I just changed how I said it. Okay, so you appeal to your audience. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, with you on that. And then I wanted to ask you, so by doing that, making that uh you know transition within you know your music career at a very young start mm -hmm. do you think that that's something that helped you propel to where you are now yeah yeah definitely and and listening to people and falling and you know just everything in life takes you to it definitely prepares me for now because before i thought i was ready but now when i'm in it i'm like oh i wasn't ready before like okay. <laughs> i wasn't ready at all <laughs> and what's what's like your background of music anyway like what's the background you have in music um well i played the violin in elementary school I, my family wasn't really a big musical oriented like family but me and my cousins like we grew up listening to uh, my Chemical Romance, Jay Z, uh, Fifi Dobson, who really got me through my teenage okay. years. Like it was just a choice. Like when we used to clean, we used to play music. So it was just a choice to okay. just, you know, I don't really have a strong musical background. My dad did film, and my mom, uh, she's a seamstress. Okay. So art was always there, but okay. music it was just like a choice. Yeah. Perfect. And yeah. you could tell in your style that you're very creative Thank yourself. You. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely creative yourself. So when it comes down to still working with your cousin, do you still work with your cousin on any music? Um, not really, cause she she's um she's Muslim, so. Okay. 
Oh, she's please. not allowed to do a lot of stuff. But we still like go down memory lane. I'd be like, yo, you have a reason why I love Jay-Z and Punk Rock at the same time. <laughs> because we were some crazy kids. Well, Jay-Z did do like a Lincoln Park. Yeah, yeah, like, he, he did. limited it to he make did. it seem like, well, not make it seem, he did actually do it to the point where the culture accepted it. Did, it. You know yeah. I mean? Like it became like, okay, we can do this too. Then Nelly went out and did a, a country yeah, song Wayne. and stuff. So yeah. There's so many different things when it comes to music, how it can expand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, when it comes to Philadelphia's music, let's get into the city, right? When it comes to the culture of Philly, um, it's very, I would say, wide range. You have so many different selections of artists yeah. that come out of the city. And I would say Philly is definitely a city that makes artists too. Oh, makes yeah. They come, here, they come here for the yes, music. Yes, yeah, they come here for the for real, for real. And when it comes to Philly music, what are you listening to? Like, what is helping you at this point to evolve in your city? Well, honestly, I, you know, you gotta listen to me because you know his his that pain. New album. Yeah, his mm-hmm. pain and his voice right now is just is real mm-hmm. is real influential. I like a few girl artists like um like Rocky. I like okay. her. Mm-hmm. Um, it's this another girl that's dope. Uh, her name her name Lil Go. I like her and okay. Tiara Wet. She's okay. my favorite right now. <laughs> like I look at she different. Okay. So I've been following her since she was like Dizzle Diz. So it's like I love Philly culture and I like how it's like our hunger and makes us like. Go harder. I just wish we supported each other a little yes. more. Oh, that's all. Man. Speaking of support, that's all. I want to talk to you a little bit about that on the side <laughs> of this break, man. We about to go to a quick commercial break. After this quick commercial break, we got some more coming up with our special guest. She's going to be telling us what she got coming up 2019. I know y'all want to hear this good music. You already know what time <laughs> it is. That. Do you think that's why you have this Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, Ex- you know, yes. tit for tat ongoing, yes. like never ending? Because people are putting them against each other? Yeah, and Nicki's probably in a place where she's trying to you know, at a point in time, you gotta recreate yourself to stay relevant. So mm-hmm. she's probably in that spot. So, you know, you got Twitter and Instagram, and they're constantly at you saying, oh, Cardi this and Cardi that. You know, who she, you know, Nikki started out like Cardi, but she mm-hmm. transformed to pop. Mm-hmm. So when Cardi came back, if you noticed, she went back to the old Nikki with the bars and stuff like that. So I felt like social media and society put that on her to so where she's, she just, she's Sagittarius, and we miserable, we're not nice people. <laughs> I'm a Sag. <laughs> So I felt like she's dropping she, gems right now. Yeah, some sad cherries right now. Yeah, so I felt like you know she she probably looked at it made her look at Cardi like competition rather than collaboration because that okay. would have been dope if they actually genuinely got that, together. That is a fact. That is a fact. I agree with you on that. And then also, do you think she was even in a position where she had to revamp herself? Really, honestly, Nicki Minaj. No, she could have kept the going position. Down that yeah. Exactly. It was but, working. And I, I feel you on that. Like she was in a position where she set herself up to whatever she touched was gold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and you saw that Nicki Minaj said it was going to hit something on the platinum charts. You know what I'm saying? Whether everybody loved it, but yeah. some, uh, somebody out there was going to love it. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So when she stooped down to the level of you know going back and forth and trying to, uh, I would say. Pit, Nick, Pit. Nick Pit her music, not just her as a person, but her music, mm-hmm. how she's dealing with her mm-hmm. business and different things like that. That was something that really bothered me yeah. because she did the exact same thing with Remy Ma. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like every woman that comes out, are you going to do the exact same thing? Is that your MO? Is that what it's about? Right. And, but it's like, then I look at, you know, situations like Ladies Night with Lil' Kim, Angie Martinez, Left Eye, like yeah. Missy Elliott, yeah. like there's so many different uh, uh, genres of music in that one song. Right. Like, you got rappers, hip-hop right. producers. Uh, Angie Martinez is a radio host. She's right. not a rapper. You know what I'm saying? So to be able to put that collection together and then to see what we're doing right now in 2018, 2019, was definitely like, yo, what can we do to change Right. That. And so, that was like the last collaboration. Probably. The one that was the banger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm going to bang that all the way yeah. up. <laughs> but what, what, are you, what are your thoughts on what we can do to change that? Like we talked about the problem, but what can we do as a solution to it? Um, I think we as women, we need to be more confident in our place and where we stand. And we need to make that happen rather than waiting, like, you know, waiting for everybody else to accept that to happen. We need to make that happen. Like, mm-hmm. like for instance, with the Nikki and Cardi, I felt like at this point, one of them need to make it happen. Like, although the other one doesn't, you know, somebody needs to make it happen. To for, yeah, to for, because it's up to us. Because we're the artists, we write the songs, so it's up to us to make that happen. I'm feel you on that. So I feel like the females need to come together. We're not really thinking about that no more. Like, <laughs> you know, we, 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 it's so much, we have to fight. It's, I want to say, I want, it's like a man's industry a little bit. So mm-hmm. we're so much fighting to get our spot in there. We ain't thinking about the next female. Facts. So I think that if we, hey, let's do a song together. Let's, Let's make that happen. I think, you know, it's Let's something put it that, together. Yeah. Let's come back. It's good morning mix, man. You already know we got a special guest in the building, Wolf Leon, man. Make sure you guys say it with your chest. Yeah. Say it with your pinkies in the yeah. sky. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Once again, introduce yourself for the people who just tuning in. Again, I'm Wolf Leon. 
Presidential's very own, coming from West Philadelphia. Yes, yes. And before we went on the break, man, we were talking about Philly, you know, how we can support each other while we are here in the city of Philadelphia. Yeah. And I want to get your opinion on that, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the culture, the, you know, just being an artist, being an entrepreneur in general, you know, yeah. how, how would you describe the culture here in the city? Um, it's like, it's a, it's a little tough sometimes because if you don't do hardcore hip hop or straight bars, they don't really accept you as quickly. Mm -hmm. So I just, although we are, we have so many different musical genres here and mainstream is only, it's really one dimensional. So I kind of want them to open it a little bit more. Like I want them to be open to people that rap differently or people that look differently or before somebody else says it's cool. I'm with you on that. Like that's that's annoying. So annoying. But I feel like especially nowadays, there's no there's me personally. I feel like there's no such thing as a normal because everything is the new normal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we have to meet the people where they are in yeah. order for them to understand where we're coming from. You know what I'm saying? And accept that it's art, so it's going to be it's fluid. It's going to be it's no wall on it. It's no restrictions on it. So mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this girl's different. Let me give her a shot. Mm -hmm. Not wait till the, everybody else comes and it's like, oh yeah, she's from Philly. You know, that's, the, that's the only irritating part about Philly because we have so much talent here and it's not broadcast or give us a voice because everybody, you know, is, is different. And as an artist, when it comes to being in a collective space with different artists, what are you looking for? Are you looking for more unity? Are you looking for more on stage presence? Are you looking for more, you know, uh, appreciation? Like, what are you looking for in a collective space with other artists? I guess more on, like, when you're out there, like, more on stage presence. Because when I'm in, cause when we're in a studio, it's different. Because I vibe with a whole bunch of different people. And mm -hmm. it was unique. And it was a remade hits. But it's like, when you go out there, it, everybody, I don't know if it's like, oh, only I can, only I can be an artist. So it, I just want more unity, especially with females. Guys tend to stick together a little more. The females are, you only see one female. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't it's do true. That. I'm in it. <laughs> trying. You know? Trying it's, to stop that caddy. It was the love and hip hop it's, culture. But it's, it's, not, it's not the females that's not sticking together. It's the males not accepting the females, you know? So okay. it's like only one female can come through this door or, oh, you know? Okay, it's okay, just okay. like, our girls can rap too. Okay. And if, you know, if we have bars, we may be higher than y'all. Don't be offended. Not and some of y'all at the same time. Yes, y'all. We got for bills. Indie artists. Support for indie <laughs> artists. Bills. But you can find me on Twitter and Instagram under Big Bad Wolf, B I G B A D D D W O L F E. I'm on Facebook, Wolf Leon, W O L F E L E O N E. You can find my single Rockstar on all platinums, my video on YouTube. And it got 45,000 views, y'all. I was hype about that. That's my first 45K. Yes, like, yes. And stay tuned for That's my next thing. She was really <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was, I was like, what? what? <laughs> I said, y'all reach 45K. Oh, I'm lit. I said, y'all yeah, ain't stopping me now. <laughs> Be on the lookout for my single, Bumby. So hopefully I can come back and, yeah, you know. Not and, hopefully, you are. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, when that drop, I'll be back. Because I want to hear about your experience at SOB, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then after SOB. You know, because a lot of artists that's their first show, like exactly. Wiz Khalifa, like, that's what I'm saying. That's big. Yeah, I was just like, oh, okay. So, yeah, so I will be back, you guys. Yes, yes, man. You already know Philly support, support, support what you value. Definitely support what you value. Oh, you already know what time it is, man. It's me, your girl, POC. I got the big bad wolf in the building with me. Make sure you guys put your pinkies up. All my wildflowers, yes. man. Turn your radios up. I got your girl, Wolf Leon, in the building. Yo, Wolf, how was your interview today at Revive Radio? It was amazing. This is the best way to start your morning. Yes, Make sure yes. you tune in to Revive Radio. No doubt, man. What can they do to check out your new music right now? You can go to... Apple, you can go to Tidal, you can go to Spotify, Pandora, right YouTube, right now. <laughs> go everywhere. Get those streams up, y'all. Especially Tidal. Yes. Go to Tidal. Tidal, <laughs> Tidal man. Shout out to the black business owners. Yeah. You already know what time it is, man. Each and every morning, turn your radios up. We play good music here on Revive Radio, man. We got some rock stars. Go Leon. Yo, here, here we go. <laughs> You already know, man. Fit off his very own Wolf Leon, man. You already know. Support what you value. What should they say locked to? What should they tune into? Revive Radio! You already know. Revive Live 365, baby. Let's Become a guest on Revive Radio. For more details, email us at revive.poc at gmail.com. Stream live with Revive. Reviveisalive.com.